Hello, I'm Brett Barnes, and we're going to go through a yoga practice today, focusing on our shoulders and our hips. We're going to stretch and strengthen both of those areas. We're going to start by coming into mountain pose, taking our feet about a little distance between them, maybe about a softball size or so. We're going to lean back into our heels and press down on those heels and start to lift through our thigh muscles. We're going to go ahead and close our eyes for a few moments and come into a couple breathing patterns, listening to our breath. Focusing on the sounds of the inhales, the exhales, and the internal rhythms that they create. And we're going to focus on our breath in coordination with some movements. On our next inhalation, let's go ahead and sweep the arms up towards the sky. And as we exhale, we're going to sink down into a chair pose, focusing on our heels and lifting, pressing from our thigh muscles. The inhalation reaching up and exhalation sinking down. On our next exhalation, let's go ahead and take our hands into our center. And our next inhalation, pressing from those heels once again, let's take our arms in the opposite direction. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, coming down. That's inhale, reach up. On our next exhale, we're going to come to a swan dive, coming through those hips, release into a forward fold pose. Let's create a little press into our heels. Then we'll bend our knees slightly and inhale. Let's come right back up. Exhale, sinking down for that chair pose. Inhaling, we reach up. And exhaling into that swan dive. We're working on those legs as we lift our body upwards. Exhaling, sinking into that chair. And our next exhalation here, we're going to release our hands down to the floor. Step back onto that left foot, just coming down to the knee. Go ahead and take yourself, just placing your hands on your knee. Take an inhalation, just lift up through the sternum. As we exhale, let's go ahead and come down to the mat. Crawl that right foot back and come down to a child's pose. Let's inhale, come forward to a kneeling plank position. Keeping control of the hips through the belly. Exhale, we'll press back for a child's pose. Let's do a couple of those, sequencing our breath as we inhale, come forward, exhaling, come back. In our next exhalation, we're going to go ahead and tuck our toes, lifting into our downward facing dog pose. We'll go ahead and pedal our heels down to the floor, just getting some movement through our knees and our hips. And you're feeling a little stretch sensation down through the lower leg. Then we'll take our heels back to neutral. We'll come forward to a plank position, setting the left knee down. Let's step that right foot forward. We're going to press ourselves up to the knee. Let's take a full inhalation, reaching that left side to the sky. As we exhale, release the hands. Let's go ahead and step the feet together to the front of the mat for a forward fold pose. Pressing down those heels, let's use those legs coming up. And exhale down for a chair pose. Let's inhale, reach nice and tall. Exhale in the swan dive. Step back onto our right knee this time. Come into our lunge, just lifting ourselves up, finding our balance as we press our hands down to our thighs. Let's take an inhalation, lift up through the chest. Exhaling, we'll go ahead and release the hands, crawling back into our child's pose. Inhaling, coming forward, kneeling plank. And exhale, squeezing those belly muscles to press back for child's pose. Let's come through a couple breaths. In our next exhalation, we're going to go ahead and tuck our toes and lift into a downward facing dog pose. 
and work our heels to the floor or just kind of take the hips side to side just a little bit, creating a little bit of movement there. And we'll release our heels towards the floor. Let's come forward to a plank position. We'll set that right knee down this time. Let's step our left foot forward and lift ourselves up and we'll take a full inhalation, reaching the right side of the body to the sky. And as we exhale, it's gonna release the hands and step to our forward fold. Press through the heels, really using the legs to lift. Exhaling down for that chair pose. Let's inhale, reaching tall. And exhale, swan dive. We're gonna work through some sun salutations next. We'll step back onto that left leg again for that kneeling lunge. Making an inhalation, let's reach to the left side of the body. As we exhale, release the hands. And let's step back for a downward facing dog pose this time. Let's inhale forward to a plank position. Exhale, squeeze through the midsection, lifting the hips to the sky. Let's inhale forward back to a plank. Set the left knee down. We'll go ahead and step that right foot forward, reaching through the left side. And as we exhale, let's go ahead and step to that forward fold. Pressing down to the heels, using the leg muscles, reaching nice and tall. Exhale, sinking down to that chair pose. Let's inhale, reach up. And exhale, swan dive. We'll go ahead and step back onto that right knee, setting on the floor, reaching that right side of the body tall. Exhaling, releasing the hands. Let's come back to that downward facing dog pose again. On our next inhale, let's come forward to that plank position. We'll go ahead and set that right knee on the floor and step the left foot forward. Let's reach up through that right side of the body tall of the sky. And as we exhale, release the hands. Let's step the feet together for a forward fold. Let's inhale, come all the way up. Exhaling down for a chair pose. Inhaling, reaching tall. And exhale, swan dive. Let's go ahead and step back onto that left foot this time. We're going to come to a standing lunge. Let's go ahead and lift ourselves up just to find our balance and focusing on our right heel pressing firmly down to the floor. We'll inhale, take our left arm tall to the sky. And as we exhale, let's go ahead and release the hands. We'll step back to a downward facing dog pose. Inhaling forward to a plank. And this time we're gonna go ahead and shift forward on the tiptoes, set the knees just slightly down to the floor. Let's bend the elbows and pressing the arms towards the body for crocodile pose. Set the belly down just slightly to the floor. Press the tops of the feet down. Let's take an inhalation and lift the chest upwards. And as we exhale, we're gonna press back for our child's pose. Inhaling, we bring ourselves forward. Exhale, let's lift to a downward facing dog pose. On our next inhale, let's come forward to that plank. Set that left knee down, let's step that right foot, reaching that left side of the body of the sky. And exhale, let's step to a forward fold. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling down for a chair pose. We'll finish up with the other side for our sun salutations. Exhale, reaching down. Step back onto that right side. Go and reach up for that lunge. Exhaling, releasing the arms and stepping back for that downward facing dog. Let's come forward to a plank again. We'll go ahead and shift forward on or off the knees. Come down to that crocodile pose. And set the belly down. Let's inhale, lift the chest upwards. Exhaling, let's lift to a downward facing dog. On our next inhale, let's come forward to that plank position. Set that left knee down and step that, or that right knee down and step that left foot forward. Let's take an inhalation, reach up. And exhale, let's come into our forward fold. Pressing through those heels, inhale, reaching up. And exhale, sink into that chair pose. Let's inhale, reach. And as we exhale, we're gonna release back to our mountain pose from where we began. Let's focus on our feet, a little distance between them. A nice press down through your heels. Let's give a little lift through our chest and take some deep breaths. Our next inhalation, let's reach up nice and tall. As we exhale, let's come to our swan dive. We're gonna go ahead and step back onto our right foot, pressing the heel down to the floor. Let's go ahead and lift ourselves up for a warrior stance. And take our hands, just slide them to our hips and just draw the pelvis and the hips kind of down slightly forward. Let's give a nice press down through our left heel and our right heel, making a solid connection down into the floor. We're gonna extend our arms 
just by our sides. Let's give a nice lift through the back of the skull, just reaching up through the spine. Taking a couple of breaths for our first warrior pose, warrior one pose. On our next exhalation, let's go ahead and release the hands. We're gonna step off onto that left foot, just lifting our right leg up off the floor. We're gonna keep our fingertips just so we can maintain our balance here for a moment. Lift our chest, slightly lowering the chin, and giving a nice press back through that right heel. Let's take some deep breaths first, just a three-pointed position. Variation of warrior three pose. And as we exhale, let's go ahead and step all the way back on that right foot. We'll set that right knee down to the floor. Let's take an inhalation, reaching that right hand up to the sky. And as we exhale, we're gonna release the hands. Let's come to a downward facing dog pose. Taking a couple breaths. I'm gonna press down to those fingertips. Pressing down through the knuckles of the fingers and the knuckles of the hands. And give a nice little lift to those biceps, triceps. Reaching the upper arm bones towards the shoulders. On our next inhale, let's come forward to a plank. We're gonna go ahead and release our knees down to the floor and just loosen up the spines and hip, hips and shoulders a little bit with some cat and cow. As we take an inhalation, we'll go ahead and lift our chest, lift our tailbone just slightly. And as we exhale, let's go ahead and release into that cat pose. Squeezing through the belly and the rib cage. Inhale, lengthening, lifting, cow pose. Exhale, releasing, squeezing the front of the body for cat. On our next inhale, let's come somewhere in the middle. And as we exhale, we'll go ahead and lift into our downward facing dog pose. Let's take a big inhalation here. Next exhalation, let's go ahead and step the feet all the way to the hands. Let's release into that forward fold position. We'll press down to those heels. Let's inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, sinking down to that chair pose. Let's inhale, reach tall. Exhaling, swan dive. Let's go ahead and step back onto that left. Left knee, setting it down for that lunge. We'll take an inhalation, reaching up to the sky. And as we exhale, it's going to release the hands. Let's step that left foot in a little bit, pressing that left heel all the way down to the floor, the right heel, and slowly bring ourselves up. So then take our hands to our hips, just guiding our hips kind of slightly down and forward. And then coming into that forward knee, stacking it over the right ankle, and then pressing both heels firm to the earth reaching down through our arms, but a nice lift up through the back of the skull in all the space through the front of the body, the chest and the midsection. On our next exhalation, we'll take the hands, just reach them forward and step off onto that right foot, giving a nice push down to that right heel. Let's lift the chest just slightly, lowering the chin just a little bit. Giving a nice press back through that left heel. Let's take a couple breaths, three point in position. Or again, just a variation of warrior three pose. Back of the neck, nice and long. And let's go ahead and step that left foot all the way back. Set that left knee on the floor. Take one more inhalation, reaching that left side of the sky. And as we exhale, let's release the hands down. We'll step back for a downward facing dog pose. Couple of breaths there. Maybe moving that strength just a little bit taller above those shoulders, down through the back muscles, reaching it all the way into the hips. On our next inhalation, it's going to lift that right foot up off the floor. And as we exhale, we're going to send it all the way forward between the hands. And I come up into our lunge position. Just taking a moment or pausing here if we need to, just to find our balance. Reaching back through that left heel, pressing down to that right heel. Let's take an inhalation or we'll reach that left side of the body up to the sky. And as we exhale, we're gonna go ahead and open into a warrior two pose. Letting that left heel come all the way down to the floor. 
Let's go ahead and take our hands to our hips for just a moment. Pressing down through both heels, let's go ahead and extend our arms. Relax the top of the arms down towards the hips, and then pressing the top of the leg bone down towards the floor, feeding it all the way into the heels. Now let's take our gaze just forward, and we're going to take our right hand, just drop it underneath the left, and we're just going to cross at the elbows and set the hands lightly on the shoulders. I'm going to go ahead and with the hands, give a nice little press down through the top of the arms, and go ahead and give a little bit of a push forward through the elbows, the back of the neck nice and tall. And let's go ahead and release the arms, reaching them away from the body, relaxing the shoulders down once again. We're going to go ahead and straighten our right leg, maybe even move in our back foot in a little bit if we need to. On our next inhalation, let's reach forward, sliding the hips back a little bit. Just release that right hand somewhere below the knee, left hand on the hip. And we come nice and tall through the side bodies here. And reach that left shoulder just slightly back and taking our gaze maybe up to the sky maybe out in front of us or down at our right foot. Feeling ourselves pressing through the right heel and lifting our strength all the way through the right inner thigh, really feeding into the hip. Letting the left hip respond and then lift that length up through the middle of the body. On our next exhalation, we'll take our gaze down to the floor. Go ahead and bend that left, right knee. Let's step back for a downward facing dog pose. Taking a couple breaths here, breathing in deeply, lengthening through the middle of the spine and really reaching back through the hips. Bending our knees maybe just slightly, reaching the heels to the earth and all at the same time lifting the tailbone just lightly up towards the sky. On our next inhalation, let's lift that left leg nice and tall. As we exhale, let's go ahead and send that forward in between the hands. Let's slowly bring ourselves up, taking a moment to balance ourselves in our lunge. I'm going to reach back through that right heel and reach straight down or press straight down through that left heel. And then from here, we can take that right arm, nice big inhalation to the sky. And as we exhale, let's go ahead and open into warrior two. Setting that right heel down on the floor. Let's go and take our hands to our hips for just a moment. Feeling the tops of our thigh bones pressing down towards the floor, pressing in through the heels. We can extend our arms just away from our body and then relax the upper arm bone just slightly down towards the hips. Taking a nice soft gaze past our left hand and right back into our breathing patterns. On our next inhalation, let's go ahead and straighten through that left leg. We're going to reach forward and slide the hips back just slightly, setting the left hand down, right hand to the hip. And then we're going to rotate open, reaching that right shoulder back towards the wall behind us. And then from here, we're going to press through our left heel and then reach that press almost upwards away from that heel through the inner thigh, feeding right into the left socket of the hip. On our next exhalation, let's go ahead and reach all the way up. Let's take an inhale, we'll slide into a warrior two. And as we exhale, let's release the hands. We'll step back to that downward facing dog pose. Let's take a couple breaths here. Feeling free to maybe come forward down to a child's pose if we need a little bit of a break. Or we can come up onto all fours, maybe breathe through a couple cat and cows. Let's take a few moments to breathe, coming into downward facing dog when we're ready for it. And from our downward facing dog position, on our next inhale, let's go ahead and reach our right leg up to the sky. As we exhale, we're gonna go ahead and send it all the way forward. And we're gonna step off onto our right foot. Let's come back to our three-pointed position. 
giving a nice press from the right heel all the way through the right hip, lifting the chest just slightly, lowering the chin just a little bit. Giving a nice press back through that left heel. And then giving yourself the option, create a little bit more of a balance here. Take our arms away from the floor, out to the sides, maybe straight back, or maybe up and overhead for whatever expression of Warrior Three we'd like to try today. Take a few breaths, feeling the strength of that standing leg. On our next exhalation, release our hands. Let's go ahead and release that left foot, come into our forward fold. Let's inhale, come to a halfway lift or a monkey pose. And press the hips back just a little bit and really sink down into the heels. If we'd like to, from here, we can extend our arms back, reaching into an airplane position. In the lower back, nice and long. They're still lifting up through the tailbone. Slight lift in the chest, slightly lowering of the chin. On our next exhalation, we'll release our hands back down. Let's step back onto that left foot. We'll lift ourselves just above our right knee. Then adjusting our stance just a little bit. So we got both heels connecting down to the floor and the hips are gonna slightly square forward. And adjust that left front of the hip forward. Kind of press that right hip back just a little bit. Let's take an inhalation and lift up through the chest. And as we exhale, we're gonna slowly blank in the front of our body over that right thigh. You can take our hands maybe down to the shin, maybe down to the foot. Taking a couple breaths to move into this pose slowly. Inhalation, lifting through the chest. Exhalation, surrendering into pyramid pose. Maybe taking them to the earth if they're comfortable. And on an exhalation, let's go ahead and step the feet forward into a forward fold. Let's give a nice press down through the heels. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhale, we'll go ahead and sink down to that chair pose. Nice press, regrounding through the feet, through the legs. Let's inhale, reach tall. And exhale, dive. Let's go ahead and step back onto that right foot. Take an inhalation of that kneeling lunge. And as we exhale, let's release into our downward facing dog pose. On an inhale, let's take the left foot up. As we exhale, we'll take it forward. We're gonna go ahead and gently step off onto that left foot, come into our three-pointed position on the other side. Lift the chest a little bit, lowering the chin slightly, and giving a nice press of the strength of that left leg. <clears throat> Couple breaths, three-pointed position. Giving yourself the option. Take the arms in a different position, out to the sides, maybe stretch back, reaching towards the right heel, or up and overhead all different variations of warrior three posts. On an exhalation, we'll go ahead and release to that forward fold. Just letting go for a moment. Let's press through the heels. Let's lift ourselves up nice and strong through the thighs. Exhaling down for a chair pose. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, swan dive. Let's go ahead and step back onto that right heel, setting it onto the floor. And then we'll go ahead and work on our hips for just a moment, lifting ourselves just above our left knee. Our right hip's gonna reach forward a little bit, left hip just slightly pressing back. Let's inhale, lift up through the chest. And as we exhale, let's slowly start to blanket our torso over that left thigh. And slide the hands maybe down to the shin, maybe down to the foot. If we have a couple blocks or something, we can always use those. Using the breath to slowly work ourselves into this position. Inhale, lifting the chest. Exhaling, coming down towards that thigh. Set our hands on the floor if we'd like, if that's comfortable. A couple breaths in pyramid pose. On our next exhalation, let's go ahead and step the feet forward. We'll come to that forward bend. Let's inhale, press down to the heels, coming all the way up. Exhaling down for our chair. Let's inhale, reach tall. And exhale, we'll swan dive. Let's go ahead 
go ahead and step back onto that left knee this time. A reach up through that left side. Big inhalation, exhaling, releasing, and step back for our child's pose. Let's take a couple breaths. Maybe folding the arms if we'd like and set our hands just on top of each other. Maybe rest in our forehead lightly. Sometimes it feels good in child's pose. Just very gently, very subtle movement, sliding the hips side to side. And taking your time, we'll eventually come to our downward facing dog position. I'm going to create a little fo focus on the shoulders next. We we'll loosen them up through a couple of our poses so far. In our next inhale, we're going to come forward to a plank position. And this is a shoulder plus a core strength in our position we can come into here. I'm going to spread the fingers nice and wide on the floor and taking a look at them. And then we're going to go ahead and set the, so we have the ball behind the big toe, so it's connecting to the floor here. I'm going to lift the hips just a little bit. And we're going to slightly tuck the tailbone squeezing through the belly nice and strong here. And then we're going to lift that squeeze up into the rib cage, pressing the center of the upper spine towards the sky. A couple of breaths, strong plank position. And then from plank, we're going to go ahead and come down to our knees for a moment. We'll set our elbows down on the floor. And giving yourself the option in this next position to take the hands and spread them nice and wide, or we can clasp the hands together. So we're going to give a nice press down through our elbows, and we're going to go ahead and push the center of the spine, or lift the rib cage away from the arms. So we're creating a little dynamic tension in our press and our reach upwards here in the shoulders, feeling just a slight shoulder stretch. It's almost a sensation of wrapping a muscle all the way around the rib cage and squeezing it to lift the rib cage away from the arms. So I'm going to give you the option to stay here today, or we can go ahead and tuck the toes and lift ourselves into a dolphin pose. Still pressing down through the elbows and the forearms, and then we're going to reach our bodies towards our hips, kind of towards that back wall behind us. Taking a few breaths for dolphin pose. Great shoulder strengthener, great way to stretch the shoulders as we reach our weight away from our arms. Keeping our arms in contact, firm contact with the earth. And then we'll go ahead and step our feet back. We're going to come into an elbow plank just for a moment to really feel that strength in the belly, the midsection, and the front of the rib cage. Listening to our breathing pattern still, maybe relaxing any tension that we feel in the jaw, maybe the face. And then we'll go ahead and set our hips just lightly down on the floor. We'll go ahead and take ourselves all the way down, our arms back by our sides, and just relax one of our ears down to the floor. A couple of things that we can do with our hips here to help loosen them up and stretch them out. So we can just take and slide them side to side. Nice and easy, very smooth motion. Or we can bend our knees and we can take our feet side to side. This is nice, sometimes it just gives a nice little massage on the top of the thighs. And then we'll go come back to neutral, releasing our feet down, just relaxing the hips totally for a moment. And then we're going to take our chin to neutral and we're going to squeeze some of the muscles of the back to come into this next posture and stretch the front of the body. I want to lift the thighs up off the floor and lift the arms up just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and reach back through the fingers and the toes, extending through the legs and the arms, giving a little bit of a lift forward through the heart. Let's lift the legs and the arms just a little bit taller, coming into our locust pose. The palms in this pose can be faced upwards or face down. Just works the shoulder a little bit differently. Take a few breaths of locust pose. I'm 
on an exhalation. Let's go ahead and release down. Let's relax for just a moment. Maybe taking the opposite ear down to the floor. Let's come to the other side of that cervical twist. And once we begin to feel our breath, we can go ahead and gently press ourselves up and back for a child's pose. Again, stacking the hands. If the hands don't release the pressure from the neck or shoulders, we can always stack our fist on top of one another and just release the forehead down there. So from our child's pose, let's go ahead and come up into all fours. And then from here, we're gonna come into our camel pose next. And we can go ahead and fold our mat a little bit. Sometimes that helps if your knees feel pressure on the floor at all. And relax there. And then knees just about our same distance when we come into our standing, a little like about a softball in between them. Go ahead and reach down through the arms. It's going to lift up through the chest just a little bit, find a little bit of length. And then we're going to take a fist and place just this flat part of our fist into our low back. And to find those bony points, or we can go a little bit lower than those points. We're going to lift up through the sternum towards the sky. Just giving a nice stretch and reach upwards through this part of the body. I start to really feel the breath move into the chest, maybe a little bit below the chest. Have a little light press down through the knees. Just create that nice stability and balance, that firm structure of the lower body. And just lightly stretching through the front, reaching through that sternum, lifting through the heart. On an exhalation from here, we're gonna go ahead and squeeze through the belly to release down, just giving a little bit of support on that release. And then we can go ahead and take that roll out of our mat if we'd like. We're gonna take our hands a little bit forward and we'll go ahead and lift to that downward facing dog position. I'm gonna move forward to a plank just to set up our position from here. We can spread the fingers nice and wide. And between our wrist and our toes is gonna to be pretty even. So our wrists are right under our shoulders. I'm gonna to touch the ball just behind the big toe down to the floor. Giving a nice press through the upper back, even rounding the upper back just slightly. Squeezing the belly, squeezing the front of the rib cage. On our next exhalation, let's feel those muscles of the belly button lift us into that downward facing dog position. Let's see if we can get four more complete breaths here. Complete breaths, a full inhalation through the nose, full exhalation out through the nose. And our next exhale, let's go ahead and step the feet all the way to the hands. And press down to those heels. Let's inhale, come all the way up. And as we exhale, let's sink down into our chair pose. I'm gonna go ahead and take our hands back to our hips this time, giving a nice lift through the chest, and lowering down into those heels, feeling the strength and firm through those thighs. And we're gonna gently shift our weight over onto our right foot. We're gonna take our left leg into a balancing pigeon pose. Slightly releasing that left knee towards the floor and giving a nice press down into that right heel. And keep our hands on our hips here, but we can take them down by our sides or maybe right at the center of the chest. And we're going to transition to one more standing balance pose here today. And we'll go ahead and straighten through that right leg. I'll take that left foot. Maybe to rebalance, we can take it down to the floor or just place it right on the inside of the lower leg there. Let's go ahead and stretch our arms down to the floor. I'm going to give a nice press from our heel, lifting through our thigh, almost feeling the sensation of creating a little space within the standing hip. From here, once we feel firm, balanced, we want to take the upper body, the arms, any position we'd like, out to the sides, at the center, maybe up to the sky for tree pose. A focus on our standing balance poses is going to be on the breath, creating a focal point in front of us, 
and listen to those sounds and rhythms of our breathing patterns. On an exhalation, we'll go ahead and gently release. Let's come back into our mountain pose. Let's kind of regroup with our feet connecting down to the floor, squeezing through our thighs to lift nice and tall through the chest. Just taking a couple breaths and letting all the sensations that we feel, the after effects, melt into the body. When we're ready on an exhalation, we'll go ahead and sink down into our chair pose. Go ahead and take our hands back to our hips. And then we'll shift our weight over onto that left foot and then take our right foot off and just come to that balancing pigeon position. Just lightly releasing that left knee down towards the floor and really pressing through that, that right heel or that left heel. And take our arms by our sides, maybe at our centers. See what feels best for your balance. Balancing pigeon pose. And then we're ready from here, we can go ahead and start to straighten that left leg. Again, we can set that right foot on the floor or just take it right to the inner thigh there for a tree pose. Giving a nice lift out of our thigh muscle, creating a little space within the hip here. And once we feel sturdy, we want the upper body to accommodate the strength of the lower body. And take our arms in any position that we'd like, out to the sides, at our centers, maybe up and overhead, whatever works to best accommodate your balance. Focusing on those breathing patterns and focusing on that, po that focal point. And we're ready, we can go ahead and release. Let's come back into that mountain pose. And just for a moment, we'll go ahead and close the eyes and take a couple deep breaths. Just letting all the sensations that we feel, the after effects, just kind of melt and soothe into the body. All the internal memory of the body. On an inhalation, we'll go ahead and we reach the arms up towards the sky. And as we exhale, let's come to that swan dive. We'll gently step back onto the knees. Let's move through just a couple more of those cat and cow poses, taking an inhalation as we lengthen the lift through the chest, the tailbone, and as we exhale, let's go ahead and squeeze through the belly. Let's take an inhale, we'll come somewhere in the middle. Let's extend our left arm and our right leg straight back. And come into a spinal balance just to lengthen the low back just a little bit. I'll reach to that right heel and just feeling a little separation in the low back as if you were separating those lower part of the, the vertebrae there. The left arm just gently reaching forward and the belly just a little bit firm. On an exhalation, we'll gently release those limbs down to the floor. Let's inhale, we're gonna take that left arm out to the side, and we're gonna swing it under and through, just to lay all the way down in the arm. Stretch the shoulder just a little bit. We're gonna reach back through that left upper body. Thread the needle pose. And we'll go ahead and gently press ourselves back up onto all fours. We're going to extend through that left leg and just gently reach forward through our right arm for the opposite side of that spinal balance. You can lower the left hip just a little bit and reach back through that left heel, just lengthening through the hip joint and the low back. It's getting a little bit of space in all those joints. Belly's just a little bit firm and the right arm just lightly reaching forward. Not too much effort in that upper body spinal balance pose.
On our next exhale, we'll go ahead and release those limbs back to the floor. We'll take our right arm just out to the side. We're gonna reach it all the way through, just laying down on the right shoulder for that thread the needle. Once we make a nice contact, it's kind of resting on that arm. You can just gently pull back on that right side. and gently press ourselves back up onto all fours. I'm gonna walk our hands around to one side and flip the legs out in front of us. And we're gonna first come into our staff pose. A couple ways we can help our hips out just a little bit and our low back is we can go ahead and take the back of the mat and just roll it up a little bit. And then just kind of sit up on top of that roll. And take our hands to our thighs. We can take them by our sides. And reach our heels slightly forward. Just taking our toes so they're up towards the sky. And then we're going to give a nice press down through the bottom of the pelvis. Just reaching those hips down to the floor. Take a couple breaths into our staff position. And then from here, we're going to come into our forward bend. Now in staff pose, we're kind of already in a forward bend. And this might be right where we want to stay today. We can also take our hands back and kind of lean just on our hands slightly, but still keeping a lot of weight down through the hips and the pelvis. If you'd like to come a little bit more forward, you're going to lift up through the chest and the sternum just slightly. And then as we exhale, we're just going to hinge forward from those hips. We can walk our hands maybe a little bit closer to our feet, maybe set them on the sides on the floor, and then focus on our breathing patterns. Inhalation, we just lengthen through that front portion of the body. And as we exhale, we can sink down into that fold. Once we feel a position that we're from our hips, we're not almost fully into our, our range of motion or our motion there, we we'll go ahead and surrender the shoulders and the neck just a little bit. Feeling the sensation of keeping the weight down in those hip, hip bones and pressing back just slightly through that tailbone. It's a seated forward fold pose. And from here, we'll go ahead and gently bring ourselves back up. We're going to fold our right leg. And we're just going to take our right foot, maybe on the outside of our left leg, or we can go ahead and keep it placed on the inside of that leg. Either way works just fine. Kind of see where it best seats down through your right sit bone. I'm going to press down to the pelvis, just kind of lift up through the front of the body slightly. We'll slide that left arm around the front of that right shin and take that right arm, just place it on the floor. Let's take an inhalation, lengthen, lifting up through the spine and the chest. And as we exhale, we're going to squeeze through those belly muscles, working those obliques to come into our seated twist. Get a couple deep breaths here. I want to really work through the breathing patterns here to expand the inside of the body. And as we exhale, let's go ahead and gently release back forward. We'll go ahead and straighten that leg, bending our left knee. And again, just giving ourselves that option, we can go ahead and press that left foot down to the floor, or we can take the left foot to the outside of the body here. Either way works just fine. Whatever it feels best to get that left sit bone or that bottom, that left side of the pelvis onto the floor. And we're going to press ourselves nice and tall through the belly. We can wrap our right arm around. And then we'll gently come into that twist. You can set that left hand on the floor and always lifting, lengthening on our inhalations. And as we exhale, we squeeze through the belly button, the, the sides of the body in the midsection to come further into our twist. It's a nice seated twist, focusing on those lungs fully expanding within that limited space of the chest.
On an exhalation, let's go ahead and gently bring ourselves forward. We're going to go ahead and lift ourselves off that roll in our mat. And go ahead and just kind of roll that all the way out. And just before we come down to the floor, we're going to come to our table pose. Very important to point the fingertips towards the, the feet here. Or we can take ourselves up onto the fists. And then we're going to gently press ourselves up, lift it into a table pose. I'm going to lift the hips nice and tall. This is quite a bit of a stretch in the shoulders and the biceps. So I want to just be cautious of how those places feel in the body. Let's take just a couple breaths here in tabletop. The head position can be back. Um, actually, we want it somewhere right in the middle. We don't want to let it all the way back, and we don't want to really bring it all the way forward, just somewhere in the middle. You'll feel that neck working a little bit. And gently releasing down. We'll go ahead and straighten either leg, doesn't matter which one, whatever's more comfortable. And just kind of lightly let ourselves come all the way down to the floor. Go ahead and just take our knees to our chest for a moment. And we'll go ahead and let that left foot down to the floor. And we can take that knee into the chest, or we can go ahead and extend that right leg, just kind of holding onto the back of it. And we're going to push the back of that right hip towards the floor. At the same time, we're going to press the heel towards the sky, just feeling the length and a nice, nice light stretch in the back of that right thigh. Sometimes the chin wants to come back, getting that lot of bend in the neck, so we can always take the chin down towards the chest, just releasing, getting a lot of space back here in the neck. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and cross that right leg all the way over. We're going to press that right ankle towards that left shin. We'll take the arms out to the sides. And we'll take the arms just straight up to the sky and drop our right arm down, left arm up, and just take our arms and cross, setting our hands lightly on the shoulders. It's for a supine eagle pose. Great strengthener for the inner thigh muscles to squeeze and press those knees into one another. Again, reaching that right ankle just kind of towards that left leg there. And we'll go ahead and release the arms out. Let's go ahead and unfold those legs. We'll take our left leg, we're going to fully extend it down to the floor. And we're going to take our right leg into that tree pose again, but on the floor. Relax in the shoulders, relax in the front of the chest, it's in a nice, gentle, easy stretch there. Maybe across the bicep muscles. Go ahead and take that right knee up. I'm going to go ahead and press down into our right heel, shift those hips over to the right a little bit, and then we're going to come across the body for our twist. Just relaxing down through the chest and the arm. This is a nice stretch for the chest, but we want to create a little bit of focus across the belly muscles, just below that right side of the rib cage, all the way down towards that left hip. Give a little bit of a squeeze, and you'll also feel a slight stretch across the belly. Gentle twist for the low back. And let's go ahead and release that side. Go ahead and settle the hips just back to center. Let's go ahead and bend that left knee. We'll take that left knee towards the chest there. And we can keep it here towards the chest. Or if we want to, we can go ahead and extend that leg towards the sky. We'll just clasp the hands or maybe just grab onto the back of the leg there. Just holding onto that weight. We're going to press down into the floor through the top of that, that thigh bone and then reach up through the heel. Draw the chin slightly towards the chest and giving a nice stretch back to the back of that thigh muscle, hamstring area.
And then from here, we'll just cross over nice and lightly. Springing those knees, we're gonna go ahead and squeeze those inner thighs, reaching that left ankle kind of towards that right shin or right lower leg there. And we can take our arms just out to the sides. Keeping a little squeeze between the knees, we can take our arms up. We'll go ahead and take our left arm under the right this time, crossing at the elbows and just setting the hands on the shoulders. Just getting a very gentle stretch. It's for a supine eagle position. Eating the breath in and out of the body. Let's go ahead and gently release the arms. And go ahead and gently undo the legs. We can straighten our right leg this time. We'll take that left leg just to an easy uh, supine tree pose. Just relaxing across the chest. Real easy stretch for the chest and shoulders. And we'll go ahead and gently lift that left knee up off the floor. We'll take the hips and just step them or slide them over to the left a little bit, kind of pick them up, set them down. And we'll take that left knee across the body, coming to our twist. And we're gonna, again, we're gonna get a little stretch to the shoulder. We wanna try to relax the chest and shoulder as much as we can and focus on the belly. Just come into the sideways direction here across the belly, giving a little squeeze and a little bit of a stretch at the same time. a supine twist or a spinal twist. And we'll go ahead and gently release. Let's recenter the hips. We'll go ahead and bend both knees and just settle the low back for a moment. Just arms back down by our sides. And close the eyes. Just positioning the head a little draw to towards the chest of the chin. See a little space in the neck and the shoulders. And then giving ourselves the option, we're going to come into relaxation pose. Giving ourselves a few options here of what feels most relaxing for us. You can keep the knees bent in this position. Sometimes it feels good just to let the knees fall towards one another. Or we can go ahead and straighten the legs down to the floor if that feels okay. We'll go ahead and take just lie our arms by our sides, maybe adjusting the shoulders a little bit, adjusting the hips just a little bit just to come into that easiest position. Feel free to take time to adjust as we need to. And we'll close the eyes for a moment and allow the breath to start to settle. The exhalations getting a little softer with each breath cycle. Relaxing the jaw, the mouth, the eyes, above the eyes and behind the eyes. <laughs> 